Okay, in this week's demonstration, we are going to do a demonstration dealing with impulse. Now, if you remember, impulse is a force that acts on a system over a period of time. Now, for this week, you're going to need either an egg or a plastic bag filled with water. So, this is how you're going to be doing the demonstration. Here's the first version of the demo. You're going to get an egg and you're going to be tossing it up and over your head for a total of five times. And each time you throw the egg over your head, you want to throw a little bit higher. And this is because we want to see the effects of the force on the amount of time it takes for the egg to come to a stop. Remember, the longer it takes for the egg to come to a stop, the smaller the force that the egg will receive. It's going to look something like this. You're going to make sure there's nothing around you. You're going to make sure you're outside. Trust me when I say you don't want to do this inside. All right. And you're going to make sure nothing is above you. You're going to get your egg. You're going to toss it up. Up and above your head. And you're going to catch it. And you're going to try to throw it a little bit higher every time. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. All right. Now, if you don't have an egg at home, but you have a Ziploc bag full of water, you can also do the same demonstration. All right? Now, if the Ziploc bag has enough force on it, the bag will break. And so we want to decrease the amount of force on the bag by increasing the time it takes for the bag to stop. Same rules. Throw the bag up above your head for a total of five times. That's one. That's two. That's three. All right. Now, the best thing about physics is that you can use what you learned in class and you could involve others in this. So this version of the demonstration is just like what we just uh, went over, where you're throwing the egg up and down and you're, uh, you're catching it and you're increasing the time of the catch to decrease the force uh, on the on the egg, but this time you're gonna do it as a little competition. And so you're gonna get you're gonna get either the egg or you're going to get the uh, the Ziploc bag full of water, and you're gonna get one other person, one other demonstrator. Now you can do your friends, your siblings, your parents, or whoever you want to have this fun time with. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand close to each other, and you're gonna toss the egg back and forth to each other. We're gonna call that a volley. So after every volley, so a toss and a toss, both you and your partner are going to take one giant step back and you're going to repeat this process until you get at least five volleys in. Now you can continue this until someone loses or you can just stop at five. But the most important part is you have to explain to them that in order to be successful, you have to increase the time it takes to catch the egg to decrease the force that the egg experiences. It's going to go something like this. Step back. One giant step back. One giant step back. All right. Woo! That was a close one. All right. One giant step back. All right. Ready? And you could also do this with the Ziploc bag. Physics.